Hello all, in this video, I am going to solve few problems on inverting amplifier. Before that, let us understand inverting amplifier. An amplifier which produces a phase shift of 180 degree between input and output is called inverting amplifier. This represents the circuit diagram of an inverting amplifier where V in is the input voltage which is applied to the inverting terminal and the non-inverting terminal is grounded. So we are going to call this one as inverting amplifier since the input is applied to the inverting terminal. The gain of an inverting amplifier is given by A is equals to V naught divided by V in which will be equals to minus RF divided by R1 where RF represents the feedback resistance, R1 represents the input resistance. Now let us solve the problems related to this equation. So coming to the first problem, an op-amp is used as an inverting amplifier to amplify an input sine wave of amplitude 10 millivolts. They have given the input, si input as sine wave with the amplitude 100 millivolts, that is peak to peak. Then the input resistance R1 is equal to 1 kilo ohm, R1 is equal to 1 kilo ohm. And the feedback resistance RF will be equal to 10 kilo ohm. They ask to calculate the voltage gain that is A is equal to what and sketch the output waveform. In order to sketch the output waveform, we need to calculate V0. So we know that the gain of an inverting amplifier A is given by V0 divided by V in which will be equal to minus RF divided by R1. So they, they are given RF and R1 values, RF is RF is 10 kilo ohm that is 10 into 10 to the power of 3, R1 1 into 10 to the power of 3, 10 to the power of 3, 10 to the power of 3 get cancelled, I am going to get minus 10. So we have calculated the gain of this inverting amplifier that is minus 10. Now we need to calculate the output voltage V0 with respect to the input applied that input voltage we had applied is 100 millivolts peak to peak. So we know that from this equation from the first part of the equation we can rewrite that one as V0 will be equals to gain of an inverting amplifier into V in. They are given V in is equals to what 100 millivolts. So we know that uh, the gain is 10 minus 10 and V in is what 100 millivolts means 10 to the power of minus 3. So I can write this one as minus 10 to the power of plus 3 into 10 to the power of minus 3. So I am going to get minus 10 to the power of 0. So it will be minus 1 volts. So we have calculated the output voltage that is V0 will be equals to minus 1 volts. Okay. Now you can see here we had applied the input voltage with plus 100 millivolts peak to peak but we are getting 1 volts so we can we are getting the amplified version amplified version of the input voltage we had applied and you can see that this minus represents the output is inverted that means there is a 180 degree phase shift between the input uh, between the input and the output now i am going to plot the input signal so here i am going to pl i am plotting the input signal with respect to time t and this one is v in so they have said that the input sine wave so i need to draw the sine wave so this is the sinusoidal wave with the peak to peak amplitude of the peak to peak amplitude of 100 millivolts now i am plotting the output waveform with respect to time this is v naught since i am getting a uh, minus 1 so here there will be a phase shift between the input and the output so here the amplitude is increased here the peak to peak amplitude is 1 volts with the scaled version and with the inverted there is a 180 degree phase shift between input and output so if you uh, write till here then uh, the solution to the solution to this problem is completed now, let us take another example. Design an inverting amplifier using op-amp with a closed loop gain of 
minus 10. If they ask in the question design, okay, if you hear the term design, that means you need to calculate the value of the resistance RF and you need to calculate the value of resistance R1. So they have given the closed loop gain A is equals to minus 10. So you know that the gain as it is, the gain is equals to what? V0 by V in or you can directly write which is equals to what? Minus RF divided by R1. This implies, so the gain is what? Minus 10 here. The gain is minus 10 which is equals to minus RF divided by R1. So minus minus get cancelled. You can write this one. RF will be equals to what? 10 times of R1. So there is, a, they have given only one parameter. So what you are going to do is, you are going to assume, you are going to assume, you are going to assume R1 is equal to some resistance value. R1 is equal to some resistance value. I am going to assume R1 is equals to 1 kilo ohm. For example, you can assume 2 kilo ohm, you can assume 3 kilo ohm, 4 kilo ohm, 500 ohm. That is based on your, uh, uh, based on your requirement, you are going to assume that. So here I am going to assume R1 is equals to 1 kilo ohm. And we are going to get RF will be equals to 10 into, if I substitute 1 kilo ohm, 1 into 10 to the power of 3, I am going to get RF will be equals to 10 kilo ohm. So here, after designing these values, you need to draw the circuit diagram of an inverting amplifier. So after that, minus plus and This one is R1, which is equals to what? 1 kilo ohm. And this one is feedback resistance. RF, which is equals to 10, 10 kilo ohm. And we are going to apply input voltage here, V in. And this one is grounded. If you come, if you write till here, then the solution for this problem will be completed. Let us solve another problem. For the circuit shown below, calculate the closed loop gain. We need, we need to calculate the gain. And required input voltage, we need to calculate V in to get, to get the output voltage of 5 volts. We need to calculate V in if V0 is equal to what? 5 volts. Now let us calculate first gain. We know that gain of an amplifier is given by minus RF divided by R1. In the given circuit, they have given the RF value that is 20 kilo ohm and R1 1 kilo ohm. I'm going to substitute here. Minus 20 10 to the power of 3 divided by 1 into 10 to the power of 3. So I'm going to get the gain of this amplifier will be minus 20. Now I need to calculate V in if V0 is equals to what? 5 volts. So we had calculated the gain. So we know that the relation gain is equals to what? V0 divided by V in. This implies we know the value of V in. So we don't uh, we know the value of V out and we know the value of gain. We need to calculate V in. So V in, v in will be equal to V0 divided by A. What is V0? V0 is 5 and the gain is what minus 20 i'm going to write minus 20 so it will be equals to minus 0 0.25 volts okay this will be the input voltage so in order to get the output voltage of 5 volts so you can see here here i applied the negative voltage here i'm getting the positive voltage because it is an inverting amplifier if i'm going to apply negative i'm going to get positive if i'm going to apply positive i'm going to get negative these are the few problems related to inverting amplifier. Thank you for watching this video.